In this video, we have another problem where you need properties of logarithms to confirm. So it says use properties of logarithms to confirm the following statement. This is a famous difference quotient that you'll see a lot when you take calculus one in particular. So you can pause the video, you want to give it a try, and then I'll be back. So again, given that f of x is equal to the log of x to base a, we want to show that f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is equal to this expression here, log to base a of the expression 1 plus h over x to the 1 over h power, where h is not 0. Cannot divide by 0 there. So here's a setup that we have then. This is what I'm going to use right here. We're given the log of x to base a. f of x, of course, is the log of x to base a. Let me start with this. This is equal to log to base a x plus h and minus the log to base a of x. And this is all over h. So here we have a difference of two logs. And this is where we're going to use the first property. If you have a difference of two logs, you can write it as a log to whatever base you have. In this case, we're using base a of that quotient x plus h over x. So this would be x plus h over x. And that's all over h. And then this is equal to, and then I'm just going to divide this out here. This is actually in parentheses this way. So I can say this is the log to base a. Divide through by x. x into x is 1. Plus, and then h over x. I just leave it as h over x. And that's over h. And then this is equal to. So let me write it over here on top. Let me write it this way. This will be then equal to the log. And I'm going to rewrite. This is divided by 1 over by h. So I can just put this as 1 over h in front. That's the coefficient. That base here is a. And that's 1 plus h over x. So looking at what we're supposed to show, this is a coefficient and there's a property of logs that tells me that if I have a, a log multiplied by some constant, I can bring this coefficient as an exponent here. So this is going to be the log to base a. I have 1 plus h over x. And again, using that property of logs, I can bring that 1 over h constant, the coefficient, as an exponent. And there we have it. And of course, the condition for this is that h cannot be 0. Cannot divide by zero. Thanks for watching. We see you next time.